Combat Challenge presents a free free to ride in amateur mixed martial arts featherweight division, sponsored by Top Rank Sport. And in the blue corner, making his debut, one minute 65 kilograms, representing game fighting leads, Jason Williams! <laughs> and his hard fight in the red corner, also making his debut, winning in the 66 kilograms, representing AVMA, from Kidley, Connor C. Hello everybody, welcome to Combat Challenge. We're here at beautiful Cedar Court in Bradford. Sold out crowd. Rich, we've got ourselves an, uh, an amateur MMA battle, I believe. We do 3-3 three as well. Connor Seaton in the uh, Black Blue Tunes firing out the red corner, taking on Jason Williams in the blue in the blue corner. And touched up and going early. Shot to the body there Ooh. early from, uh, from Connor Seaton and a little level change as well. A couple of debuting fighters tonight, Rich. Neither of them look like they have the uh, first time nerves to me. They're uh, both straight to it, aren't they, at the moment? So we've got Jason uh, forcing Connor up looking for that ankle pick at the moment against Connor. Trying to take that low pick against the uh, against the cage, Connor did a good job of dropping his level to prevent that uh, that elevation. Good defence there from Connor. Yeah, good base there from Connor. He's got a leg inside there, which is uh, yeah, I'm glad to see he's finally got a leg on the outside there. Should allow him to kind of take that ankle pick and trip it if he can take that leg for a ride now. So good work there again by yeah, Connor. Just excellent. dropped his hips very well and uh, defend that well. Nice knee through the middle as well there from Connor Seaton. Jason keeping the pressure on here, Al. Jockey for position against the cage here. Our educated crowd appreciating every minute of it, as you would expect. Fine for risk control at the moment, but uh, Jason still trying to work and elevate that leg, take this fight to the ground. Good little scramble there from Connor. Well elevated ah, there. Excellent. Good. Solid takedown to the uh, to the open guard. Looks to have passed to half guard here. If he can just consolidate that and drop his hips ever so slightly. A couple of shots to try and get that. That pass on the right hand side there of Connor Seaton. Jason climbing well at the moment, looking to land a few shots. Hard earned takedown for, uh, for Jason. Yeah, Ryan. he really did work for that, didn't he? Yeah, he worked pretty hard. Just keeping his base pretty low, which is good. Connor not looking like he actually wants to re-guard here. I think he's looking to probably get onto his side and get back to his feet. Yep. He's uh, he looks he looks quite happy really. He's taken a couple of, of soft shots, but yeah, looking to looking to stand up rather than uh, Ron Finding does oh. a good job there as well. Shakes him off the top and we're back to the feet again. Nice little body kick there by Connor. And I get the impression this is where Connor would prefer the fight to be. Couple of lovely shots from both guys straight down the middle. Inside leg kick there by, uh, by Chase Williams. And head look. Big right hand over the top there by Connor and a body kick to follow on that right hand side. Both guys thrown with intention. Nice little low leg teeth there, I like that. Twice to the knee, once to the head there from uh, from Chase Williams, which is good. Connor back in that right hand nicely. He gets up against the cage again. Been successful against the cage as uh, Jason Williams so far in this fight, Al. Yeah, Just constantly a, take that leg, lower the man's face, and, uh, and go for the takedown again. A very similar position here to the start of the fight. Let's see if Jason has the same amount of success. Yeah, he's looking to sort of take that leg for a ride again and then work the ankle pick. He's done that twice now. End up on the third time having to go for an elevation, but he's going to have to be careful because he has got uh, Connor on his back at this point in time. Ten seconds to go in this first round. So look at the emphatic end of the round three, the fighter. Look, I just kind of hit that corner at the top and land a few shots. Nice. Nice. Good so first good. round, high work rate. Very high work rate from both guys there. And I'm equally impressed with Jason's takedown ability as I am with Connor's ability to get back up to his feet. Yeah, yeah, he made some smart choices there in that first round where. Uh, Jason kind of passed straight to half guard and it didn't and like Connor just didn't look interested in regarding at all. So obviously his plan was always to get back to his knees and stand back up again and you know and, and he actually managed to do that with quite nicely actually. Yeah, um, back on his feet looked the more dangerous of the two I felt. I agree. I think uh, as I said before, I think Connor would prefer this bike to remain on the feet, but he's got to be careful if he's gonna stay there with the kicks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've seen uh, seen Jason working that oblique inside kick on the front leg there, the uh, almost like a not quite a teeth, but near enough to that front knee of, uh, of Connor Seaton and then come back up to the face of that front kick. So much more of a kicking game there from, from Jason, but some, some strong body kicks from Connor Seaton as well. We saw him attack the body nicely off that, uh, off that right leg. Indeed. Uh, so we're into round two. Let's see uh, who can make the mark. Uh, Neither guy point. really breathing much at all. They've recovered well in that first minute. No, they both look uh, well conditioned as you would expect. 
coming from great gyms, both of them. So, um, round two, here we go. Yeah. Shut up for round two. Oh. Go straight back to our right hand over the top. <laughs> That's a statement of intent if ever there was one. It's very much a uh, <laughs> very clear tail on this fight at the moment, isn't there, Al? Touch gloves, massive overhand. Yeah, and then That'll Connor be. go to cage work, ankle pick. Yeah. Uh, Connor defending this again, the ankle pick of, uh, of Jason Williams. Nice. Just taking down much quicker this round, definitely worth. Going to have to work quite as hard for it this round, but uh, hasn't got his man down clearly at this point in time. Now has puzzled him though and is in mount now. Wow, let's see what Good work for Jason Williams at that point. He's been relentless with the ankle pick, hasn't he? Yeah. Just constantly worked the outside leg, and it's now has a really nice mount. Oh, we've Lovely reversal there from Connors has worked his feet up onto the cage and now he's in the uh, the close guard of Jason Williams. He goes two. across there looking to get back to his feet. Ah, potential strategic error there from Connor not stepping Yeah, back. I think he would have been better to create a little bit of separation yeah. there and uh, give his hands a bit of room to work. But, but, uh, but that, that reversal was, was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's great. Was he timed that really well? Really did time that well. Used the cage really effectively as well, like walking his feet up and just exploded immediately. Really good work. So it's clear both athletes are really well rounded, as you'd expect. Second take down there, really good. There's no real, uh, no real answer to Jason's game plan at the moment from from Connor, is there? There is because uh, th it's been this, you know, it's been the, the same in the entire first round as it started. The second push up against the cage, work the single leg take down, the ankle trip, and pull to the floor. I'll be honest, Connor's not really having a hard time on the floor at the moment, but uh, a lot of control for Jason. Yeah, a lot of control, and in the judges' eyes, those takedowns are going to be pretty huge. Given that he, has got, he actually has got arm in there as well. There's, there's the option for the arm in there as he's, as he's taking the rear naked choke and getting the hooks in on the back. A um, couple of nice shots there. He's trying to feed that arm across again. I think he might be under there, actually. I'm not sure if he's all the way through. No, really good hand fight in there from, uh, from Connor Seaton defending that choke. Yeah. A couple of shots there. Done well to get out of that as well and give himself back to mount. A couple of good shots. hammer fists as well. Some very nice shots there from Jason Williams. Looking to explode off the cage again is, uh, is Connor. Riding out a little bit better this time is, uh, is Jason Williams and some good, some good ground and pound there. Yeah, really nice and clean, very accurate. He's not wasting any shots, is he? No, he's not. He's been really, really good with his shots. Not rearing up and throwing big shots. Good hammer fist, changing his angles well. Nice shot through the middle there. Staying on his man though, he's not letting him clear that side control. Not letting him kind of get his defence back. I think he's done a, a good option there to get side control because he's uh, he's looking good with those hammer fists. Yeah. And this is wearing out Connor Seaton, make no mistake. He looks to set the cruise fix there and isolate the arm, work that ground and pound even more. Connor is looking absolutely exhausted as Jason is brutalising him in this position at the moment. He has left his neck in there, so we will see if he decides to go for that head and arm choke, but I think he'll be just happy to see out the end of the round with a very strong second round there from Jason Williams. Really strong second round. I think we can almost see a bit of a, a turning of the tide there in favour of Jason Williams. Uh, the takedowns was there, but then the ground and pound as well once he yeah, got his man down. Solid, solid control there for, for a lot of that round there from, from Jason Williams. And I have to say, I think he, you know, he got that takedown early, whereas he spent a lot of the first round working for that takedown in the, in the first round. Second round, very different, up against the cage almost immediately. Got that takedown very quickly. The second one followed as well. But uh, a grueling round there. Really good. I think at this Solid point, work rate. When, it, when it's a, a sort of a wrestling based attack or even a wrestling based defense, gas tanks are going to be at a premium yeah, out there. Absolutely. Especially when you're throwing heat like uh, Connor is when he's got some space. You know, he's really looking to land that right hand. But he. Uh, he got, he got kind of roughed up in that second round a little bit, you know? Like, not massive amount of power in the shots, but lots of them, and, and you know, just, like I said, it just drains your gas tank to empty. So here we go, third and final round in what has been an absolutely uh, action-packed bout so far between Jason Williams and Connor Seaton. Yeah, solid six minutes of action so far. Third and final stands in this one for us now, Al. Connor's going to want a bit more separation this time. He Both is. guys are noticeably breathing harder. Connor straight back to that right hand. I would like to see Connor stay out of range a bit longer in this round. Nice and lovely through the middle there as well. Shot. He is back in that right hand, isn't he? And the head kick, very nice. And again, Rich, as I said before, it's those body kicks are getting caught. He went to the head that time, didn't he, on the on that right on that right head kick and. Yeah. Uh, just timed it well, did uh, Jason Williams and bundles him onto the floor, entering in the closed guard here. He is away from the cage this time, so he has got a, an opportunity to actually work in the open, which he hasn't really had for the previous two rounds. 
he's been very much up against the corner, uh, up against Connor's corner. Looking at a pass there. He has got to, uh, to half guard. We'll be looking to get to side control and uh, looking to use that ground and pound again. Those hammer fists that he was successful with in the second round. Just trying to slide his knee through at the moment. Connor looking visibly tired here as he tried to defend that pass and a fairly, a fairly rudimentary pass there for for Jason at that point. But Connor's done great to get back to his knees here. Yep. He's stripped out nicely there. And he's yeah, he's going for take down of his own as well. We'll see a strong leg. sprawl there from Jason. Um, great sign of intent there from Connor to fight his way back out of a bad position. Oh yeah, Connor's by no means out of this fight. Not at all. Hook, hooks are in on both sides though for Jason Williams at this point in time. But his wits are about him. He's doing all the right things. Good right? pass though. Very, very good way to uh, to escape the leg there from Connor C. I think he did a really good job there. Still on that mount at the moment. He has left his neck in at this point in time. That might be. Uh, I think it's under there. There might be an option there. To be honest, he has got that right arm under the neck at this point in time. Yeah. He is hand fighting though. He's not going to give this. He's not going to give up on this one. Back to mount now for uh, for Jason Williams. A couple of shots. Not much on them, but both guys visibly exhausted after. A vicious three-round fight so rightly far. So, rightly so. Yeah, these guys have put a lot into this. Arm. Still, still trying to get a, get a better position is, is Connor at this point. Still, still trying to bridge and roll and improve his, his position, but flattened out at the moment as uh, Jason established is a a solid oh. mount. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Great reversal there from Connor. Really nice. But Just hasn't it, stopped trying. Hasn't stopped really working. Hasn't. It really hasn't. And let's see what we can do with the, with, with the waning. Waiting minutes of the second round, third round. Looking for a little bit of payback at this point in time, for having been I roughed up so. in the second. Trying to get into that uh, improved position so he can uh, posture up and strike. But he can't sit in guard. He has to either rain down some serious destruction or stand it up and have a go at knocking his man out. Because yeah, we're seeing, seeing Jason at the moment grab that ankle and almost play sort of a, a high rubber guard at this point in time. A little bit of separation, but he won't want to get back to his feet. So it's a nice little... Nice little yeah. oblique kick to the leg there from uh, from Jason. It's, oh, some good shots. Connor landing at the end there, but we will go to the judges and see if it was enough. First to time, in the, first time of the night there for the judges, so uh, we'll see what they've got to say. Fantastic good fight from, from both guys. Good what, fight. A, what a couple of athletes. That was absolutely yeah, tremendous. Yeah, tremendous work, that really good work. The judges scored about 30-27, 30-27 and 30-26. All three in favour of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Jason 